Welcome back to consecutive day 1,149 of a diary of a rumpreneur. And uh, today I want to talk to you about a break in rural Ireland. So um, remember to give this a subscribe, share, like and comment as the more people we get in front of, the more money we raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. All the information about the challenge and how you can get involved is in the link in the comments below. Thank you as always, let's get started. So, consecutive day 1149 of the diary of the And uh, just first and foremost, over there, that's where we're staying. As you can see, the backdrop of idyllic um, Irish countryside. Um, we're staying in County Monaghan, um, just close to the, uh, the border into Northern Ireland. And um, the one thing I love about coming to Ireland is just how green it is. Now, if you've been watching my vlogs for the past few days, seeing the torrential <laughs> downpour that I've been running within, you'd understand why it's um, so green. The amount of rainfall they get over here is so extreme, but it keeps all the vegetation, grass, such a beautiful shade of green. Um, and as uh, I've stated before, we're, uh, we're uh, over here for my mother-in-law, who's Irish, her 70th birthday, and we've had birthday celebrations with all family, which has been uh, amazing. So what would I say to coming to stay in rural Irish countryside? Well, I think you see real island. I think sometimes you go to Dublin or, or parts of Belfast or the bigger cities, um, there are quite a lot of tourists there, so it's kind of influenced uh, by this kind of tourism trade. But if you come into rural Ireland, you get to see what it's what it's all about. And um, I've probably I've been to Ireland so many times because obviously married into a, a part Irish family, so I've probably been over here now between ten and fifteen times, I'd say, uh, maybe even more than that. And um, it's a big part of my life. And what I love about it, but one of, one of the most important things I find is the community spirit, the kind of culture, the friendliness, the, they have a, a phrase which is your own's your own, and that's your kind of, your family, extended family, that's your, that's your group, that's your, your clan, your community, and you kind of stand by each other, you look after one another, you help one another out, and that's what I think lacks a lot back in England, um, not everywhere, but certainly more so than what I see over here. And it's like they're focused more on the things that are genuinely important in life, like relationships and, and uh, sorry, I've just got some crazy cars coming past. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're more, it's more focused on the important things in life, like relationships, family, community, helping one another. And um, I think sometimes in, in England we get a bit lost with chasing the next shiny penny or very career focused and sometimes we lose kind of the importance of what is really important in life and not just chasing money and careers and ambition and all that side of things and uh yeah i see you know down the high streets they're predominantly independent stores even the supermarkets are owned independently and and i think it's just and you you know people aren't shopping around to find the cheapest deal all the time they're supporting the local independence to support one another's local businesses and um i've always just loved that about this place and i've been taken in as as kind of one of the family and and i have no doubt that if ever i was in a time of need i could very easily um, approach some of my extended family and they would definitely be there for me so um i think the, the learnings from my diary for today are that you've never been to to Ireland before um, yes you might want to go to some of the big cities and the bigger tourist attractions but try to experience some kind of rural Ireland where I think you get to see the real people the real culture uh, what it's all about and um, it really does open your eyes to what can or what can sometimes be a better world and it might sound quite extreme but I just do think that Although in many respects over here it's uh, it's, it's it's kind of it's less developed. I'm not saying that Ireland's not a developed country by any stretch, but it feels less developed than England in places because 
people's attention, people's focus is very different than it is over here. And, uh, and I love that about Ireland. I hope it stays like that because it's a, it's a beautiful country with beautiful people. And if you get the chance to visit, I strongly recommend you, t- you, you, uh, you get over there because I guarantee you'll have some crack. That's C-R-A-I-C, which is the Irish word for a good laugh. So, uh, yeah, that's it for me today. Any questions or comments, drop me a line. I respond to everyone. Uh, any, uh, please remember to give this a subscribe, share, like, and comment. As the more people we get in front of, the more money we raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultramarathon. All the information about the challenge making it involved is in the link in the comments below. Thank you as always. Stay positive, stay happy, and I'll see you again tomorrow.